Nothing too amazing here. I haven't been doing much scanning of anything at all, and that is a problem that I need to fix. Go. Breaking orbit. I'm moving around here. See, the thing is, I may have to fight off... Oh, it's got an orbital station. Balls. Uh, Alright. I might need to clear up some hostiles from around here, maybe. Let's just see. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting pirates. <laughs> Well, first, no one there that I care about. Uh, secondly, market. Let's dump that. Don't need it. Wow. Now then, that's actually kind of good. That's a really nice price. That's a really nice price. Kind of surprised by that. The fuel isn't too bad either, actually. I will purchase the 200 that are excess for 66k. Because we will easily make that money back. We can sell it for possibly double. Or at least like an extra 200 in most places. Don't mind us. Came to buy some heavy armaments and then blow up your orbital works. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's, let's go for it. Okay. Next, consider military options. Pirate Corsair is supporting close by. A pirate orbital station dominates the orbit and prevents any hostile action aside from a quick raid, unless it's dealt with. Defending ships are present, but not in a sufficient strength to want to give battle or prevent any hostile action you might take. That is amazing. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to engage the station, of course I don't, but I will happily launch the raid. Try to acquire valuables, disrupt the operation of a specific industry. Hmm. Let me just double check what my uh, what my job was. Disrupt the orbital works. Disrupt the orbital works. Here we are. Okay. I would have liked to acquire things, but sure. Uh, okay, disruption. What was it for? Was it at least 60 days that we needed to disrupt it for? Let me just double check that again, because I, I forgot to, to consider that. Um, at least 60 days. Okay. I've never really attacked something to disrupt the, the function of something. Something I should do once I've got my own faction. Like, if I'm trying to s sneak in on the, uh, the old... Uh, fuel market, then maybe I want to launch a raid against Syndra and disrupt its fuel refineries just for a little while, just so that I can squeeze in, some, just move in and grab some of that market share. That's all I would need to do. I could throw everyone at this <laughs> if I wanted to. Light, I don't care for. Let's go for minimal. Uh, I, I could honestly hit so much, but I just don't need to. Do my eyes deceive me and have extreme huzzah? Hello, welcome. I do believe we call that hostile takeover in the business world. <laughs> Quite possibly. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to sending more marines than this. Select... Um, losses during this operation will be projected at minimal. Disrupt the operation. Projected rate effects effectiveness is eighty one percent. Maybe I should 
increase that a little bit more. Let's go for 80, just to make sure. So like, okay. Okay, it's still 81%, that's fine. Launch the raid. Your forces have suffered casualties during the raid. We lost 12 Marines. Relationship with the pirates has not really been affected. Stability of uh, Captain Starworks reduced by one. The raid was successful, disrupting Orbital Works operations. It will take at least 85 days for normal operations to resume. We gained a lot of experience. And now we decide to... You feel the almost imperceptible vibrations as the assault shuttles return to your fleet. Actually, you know what? Let's read through this. Because I, I haven't done that before. Um, Pirate Orbital Station dominates... Blah, blah, blah. Now your Marine Commander submits a plan for your approval. The Marines are ready to go. Your Marine Commander submits the plan. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, the raid was successful, disrupting. You feel the almost imperceptible vibrations as the assault shuttles return to your fleet. They were complete. You listen for a moment to the open broadcom channel. The lines crackles and squeals with the last gaps, gasps of electronic warfare hexes. This, uh, distorted through chaff and the warp of fresh plumes of charged particles. It's a familiar sound. You can almost smell it. Tactical has casualty reports prepared for review. You acknowledge with a nod and shut off comms. Gain 79,000 credits. Relationship with Dale Hayes has improved by five and the hegemony improved by three. Okay, continue. Uh, consider our military options. We can't do anything more, sadly. Uh, but let's have a look at the colony info. So their stability is now zero, which is kind of bad. Uh, they've got a fruit shortage. It is a free port as well, so stability is kind of garbage anyway. Um, but recent unrest, stability goes down by one point every three months, so that'll recover in three months. Shipping disruption is messing it up. This might destabilize if given enough time. But they're... Orbital works. There we are. Disrupted. 85 days left. That was producing uh, ship parts, but no longer. Ship hulls and weapons. All right. So with that, that's that whole mission done. And we can move on to the next if we would like to. Which is just down here. At the Luddock Church. Now, that one needs a lot more mercenaries to guarantee. We may we may be about to shed quite a lot of mercenaries, uh, sadly. Uh, if I have a look at my mercenaries... Oh, I can't do that from in here. Okay, fair enough. Uh, okay, leave. Now, we could go up there and grab a little fight if I really, really wanted to. But let's have a look at my mercenaries right now. 228. I would love to pump their numbers a little bit more. But I would need to go to Corvus for that, realistically speaking. Or look out for opportunities to hire more experienced mercs. I heard if you sell high-tech blueprints to the Ludic Path, you got a special secret achievement. Really? I wouldn't know how they would track those achievements. I, I've, I'm not aware of any achievement tracking system in the game. Um, but if you sell blueprints to any faction, they'll start using them. So if I took expensive high-tech blueprints and gave them to the Ludic Path, they would then start fielding expensive high-tech um, units. Yeah, we've, we've basically got 328 because of the Valkyries uh, ground support uh, capabilities, yes. Alright, where do we want to sell these? Well, we could go to Valhalla, but the Cantor's Den pirates are the better ones for it. Cantor's Den are fairly close by. Uh, so we would need to get down here for that. Then we could grab some more mercenaries from elsewhere. Like, I would love it if we had 300 mercs on the, in the fleet. And Corvus would probably be the place to go for that one.
though the Umbra Pirates are also an option. Well, enough here for us to do okay. We could grab some more... Uh, actually, I mean, the Skona does offer it. A number of pirates are available there, and... You know what? We've got a lot of stuff that we can do in, in the Skona. We've got an awful lot of stuff we can do in the Skona, as well as refueling. So, actually, no, no, we're going to go to a Skona. We're going to swing back and take care of that. Reasonable sized fleet, but nothing too terrifying. How are we doing with our character skill level? Not too bad. Right, time to burn. Path of fleets with paragons would be terrifying. In the most glorious of ways. Uh, Persian leak. Uh, return to Kabola with ore and food. Not things that I want. Uh, I actually lost money this time. Let's actually go to Intel and see how much I'm, I'm making. All right, I'm making 15k a month because of the stipend from Galatia Academy, which isn't going to last forever. Uh, the upkeep of my fleet is 24k, though. And 4,580 of that is the marine payroll. I spent an awful lot of money on my crew payroll. So I really don't want to hold on to large amounts of crew for very long at all, if I can avoid it. I should have sold a bunch of those previously, but a while. Warning, low RAM remaining. What is this nonsense? <laughs> Damn it, game. I've barely been playing it this time before that, that's popped up. Okay, well, we'll get to our destination and then I'm going to reboot. But you know what? It's actually good timing. Um, because I I do ooh, what are you? Uh, mercantile convoy, marines. Well, you know what? I think we may be about to uh, get some more marines, and while we're doing that, we'll probably download some more RAM as well. Uh, okay, okay, that's we're going dark. And change the direction as quickly as you can. Right, I need to emergency burn towards them. They're e burning as well, sadly. Come back here, you scallywags! Balls. They're getting away. They're faster than I am. That is deeply annoying. I burnt supplies to do that. Ah, uh, okay. Next time I'll use the interdiction pulse. I should have interdicted straight away, really, when I realized what I wanted to do. Recreational drugs. Direction. They're faster than you. Hello, smuggler. This fleet does not reach its destination safely. It will cause shortage. The independent fleet carefully maintains distance. It does not appear certain of your identity. Look. We're going to get what we want. You can make this easy or you can die. It really is that simple. I'm not even going to get involved. Uh, we'll send in the two Wayfarer combat freighters. I would love more frigates for taking care of something like this, but this will do. Actually, I could send in the two hounds as well, realistically speaking. There we go. Uh, let's consider ship recovery. No, don't want it. Okay, reduced by five. It's fine. Pick through the wreckage. That is... Oh, really? That was tiny. Mind you, it was a tiny fleet, so what was I really expecting? Oh, well. Got a buffalo. I'll just go ahead and scrap that, though. Okay, let's continue on our way. Try and avoid getting smacked with a storm, though. That one's heating up a bit. Uh, I may regret this. I'm trying to thread the needle a little bit too aggressively there. Oh, yeah, I just got bumped. Huh. 
Domestic goods and luxury goods. Domestic goods and luxury goods. That fleet is much better than this one. Could help myself. Boopaloo, thank you so much for 23 months, mate. Nearly got that. Two years, but not quite. Nearly get there. In one month, as I have. We could probably take this fleet. I don't like the officer crewed cruiser, but... Domestic goods and luxury goods. I mean, maybe. What do you think, chat? Should we, uh, should we go bonk hegemony on the head? Lighten their load a little bit. They look like they're struggling. Or should we just carry on, do our trades, and then, then move on? Unleash the hounds on those flying loot bags. Fix your computer? I mean, <laughs> yeah, that is definitely something to do, yes. Let the bonking begin. Alright. We're going to go on the tea break now then. I'm going to quickly uh, restart the game because, sadly, you know, Star Sector munching on the RAM. Which is kind of crazy considering how much free RAM I can see my computer has, but it's, it's worried, so it's letting me know. I probably need to go into the config files and uh, do some tweaks because I know that you can make some... Uh, config file changes to allow it to use more of the available RAM that you have, so on and so forth. And I haven't done that since I uh, installed this in my uh, in my second uh, in my new computer. Okay, we're gonna go on a tea break here. Be gone for a couple of minutes. This is your chance to uh, stretch your legs, go grab some uh, go grab something to drink, etc., etc. And when we return. We shall be seeing if we can't say hello to the hegemony mercantile convoy down there. So, assuming for a moment that I didn't accidentally mute myself, we have made our way <laughs> uh, all our way into uh, into Esconia, <laughs> and we're heading over to Sintra. Uh, I am I'm so bad. Oh, thank you, thank you, Lady Shilab. She was about to come tell me thank you, and that's 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 love right there, chat. Lady Shilab's in bed. Lady Sheila was about to get up and come tell me that you can hear me. That's how much Lady Sheila loves you all. As for the seven days to die question that I, I dutifully answered, uh, probably reasonably soon, both Lady Sheila and I have, have both encoded out and uploaded and scheduled all of the previous VODs. Um, so we're ready to, to roll whenever. Thank you very much to the friendly ghost who gave up five gift subs. Super kind of you. And... Uh, Angel's uh, Pariah as well. Thank you very much for the Prime. My Lord. Okay. <laughs> so, I think... I think we're more or less... Okay now. Perhaps. Perhaps things aren't bad. I, I'm not entirely sure, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a bit crazy. Uh, you can artificially make more demand by raiding the pirate stations. Yes, that's 100% something you can do. Why are we getting so close to this bloody star? Oh, that's so annoying. I needed to have avoided that. Okay, let's repair everything. It's expensive, but I kind of need it now. Let's buy a hundred. Vexing. To say the very, very least. All right. Uh, Syndra... I mean, I could buy these from you. 159 to the Umbra Pirates of a decent amount. It's probably going to cause me a bit of issue. Actually, let's let's avoid that right now, because I'm carrying a lot of illicit goods as is. Let's drop these off. What did you miss? I accidentally muted myself. So, uh, more of the same, really. Just, you know, normal AVAC being AVAC. Uh, let's uh, sell off a well, not that much. A board, a board, a board. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. That's good. I want to sort all of this. And then I want to sell down to 
Dot 800 should do. Yeah. Gives us enough peeps to uh, run everything we need. As for the Marines, we can definitely get them back. In fact, we can buy them over at Umbra, as it happens, which is why we're taking all of this. Uh, is there anything else here that I would like to grab? Is this something I'd like to buy off the black market? Is the big question. I, I would like the Tridents, but... Just because they've got two Atropos-class torpedoes. <sighs> but I don't think we're going to be going for that. Not right now, anyway. They have got uh, two wolves. Without D-mods. They've also got two afflictors without D-mods. Pirate afflictors, no less. Um, I'm not really looking to make a a phase fleet right now. Yeah, we're not selling people. It's just forced tourism. That's all. Gremlins are actually kind of cool, though. But I think the afflictors are the more interesting ones there. However, that being said, I think we are definitely going to be picking up the two wolves. Uh, definitely picking up two wolves. That's too good of a uh, an option not to take. I mean, the, the Valkyrie transport ship is also quite nice. That would... That would effectively give us a ground projection, a ground force projection of 400. Yeah, well, I mean, the new patch didn't nerf phase ships they changed it yes they're not quite as op as they were before so i in in, in that regard yeah i mean they're weaker uh, objectively i would say but they're more balanced i i i would i would um temper that statement by saying they are much more balanced now and it's not a straight nerf in that they just do what they did before but they do it worse they do something different now It is time for me to kill some nerds in Halo. Mm, be well, Leafin. Kill many nerds. Uh, I've already got a salvage rig with us. I could take a second one, but there's no real point in it. I'm like, is there a good guide for ships or like some sort of reference for them? Or are the in-game pop-ups the best source of info? The in-game pop-ups are a completely adequate source of info, but you just kind of learn it as you play. Um, there are some guides out there, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's definitely some guides out there. Um, I wouldn't mind picking up this Valkyrie transport. Yeah, the Prometheus Chonk is... I mean, that's great, but we don't need something that large. Yeah, no more terrorizing the sector with your dooms, no. Oh, you can't you can't do that in quite the same way you used to. I'm kind of for that. They they were sort of broken. Yeah, see that's the thing, troll potatoes. Whenever there is a ship that is objectively the best option in a game like this, that's poor balance. In in my opinion, when there is always a this is the objectively best fleet composition, then you've the the balance has kind of gone some uh, awry a little bit. This shouldn't be a the best. It's, it's fine to have several, you know, equivalent options, but one that is flat out, this is the best. If you do this, you win. Oh, hey, it's Space Pirates and Zombies. I mean, Star Trek, you know what? I should play that game again. Wow, it's been a long time. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop the credits on this. Sure. It's going to make my fleet far more expensive to run, but we've just added... Three new ships. It shall be grand. Truly. Uh, how did I fit this? IR pulse lasers. And then... Light machine guns. And light dual machine guns. Additional berthing. 
uh, efficiency overhaul. At this point, yeah. So additional birthing, efficiency overhaul. Don't need anything else on that. Go back. I uh, would like light dual machine guns. Well, can I buy a light dual machine gun? Uh, yes, I would like to. And light auto cannon, light auto cannon. If I can buy one. And then IR Pulse Laser, have you got a second? I really do prefer to be able to buy the same bloody things. I, I, I'm just finicky like that. I'm so finicky like that. I will buy the long range point defense laser. <laughs> kind of jank for what they are, but. No, no, it's just. That's silly. That is actually silly. Let's not do that. Um, mining lasers? No, they're still kind of garbage. I guess I'll just equip it as best I can. And then the rest into whatever. There we go. Uh, how, actually, how did I spread that out? Four and nine the other way around. Yeah. Okay. It's also fun to have a ship that's objectively the worst. I would say not... I, 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 I would, again, condition that statement with saying it's fine to have a ship that is okay in the early game, but by mid-game, you have completely replaced it. Because that just kind of makes sense. You know, if, if you're in a war, you might start out with an armoured car, but ult, you know, by mid, once you've got a little, little bit of uh, industry behind you, you kind of want to have a tank. And versus the tank, the armoured car just isn't the right thing. Unless you want something with speed. And, and this is something that I think the game does well, generally. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Assault. I'm just going to quickly pop these together. Autofit, Assault. I will allow you to buy from the market. You cannot properly put together this ship. That is such a shame. Uh, close support, one Graviton Beam... I mean, it kind of works. Point defense, maybe? No. <sighs> I'm not going to allow purchasing from the black market for this one. Go ahead. And uh, now let's strip everything down. Actually, you know what? I kind of... Let me also fit, and I'm going to save this one over. This is my close support chip, though. I'm going to pop this in here. Cancel, actually. We're going to call this one. Uh, Harrier Frigate. Because I, I mostly use these for harrying. There we go. And that should then equip this one properly. So, auto fit, strip it down, go for the Harrier, confirm, boom. Um, same down here, auto fit, go for the Harrier, boom. There we are. I mean, it's not the best setup, but it, it'll have to do for now. We'll get them properly equipped later. Yeah, there are there are really cool new ways to use phase ships. The phase anchor is pretty pretty awesome, awesome actually. Because uh, what we've got here is a pulse laser, got an eye, uh, a tactical laser, and a pulse laser, and then two salamanders and some uh, point defense. I wouldn't mind going with long range, honestly, but. Whereas this one is rolling with an ion cannon. I kind of like the ion cannon build, though. So I'm probably going to change the Harrier design later. But for now. All right, we're going to need three three names. I wasn't anticipating this, but here we are. Three new names are required. So, Nightbot giveaway. Let's go ahead and get a new keyword. This keyword will be... 
in chat in just a moment. All you need to do, type the keyword in chat. And in a couple of moments, I'm going to generate three names. We will also need three naming game redemptions. It will be required. Doesn't need to be you who pays the dapper duckets to get your name in the game, but someone does have to pay. White Hammer has already uh, covered one. Telefile has covered the other. Ah, oh, fantastic. And Broken Mnemonic has covered the third. Well, okay, well, on that point, just throw your name in. The, uh, the bar tab has already been paid. Enjoy. Brought to you by the uh, prodigious ger generosity of the dapperlings. And while all that's going down, let's repair my ships. There we go. Let's take a shuttle down to the dockside bar. Approach a woman contracting out underworld bounties. A woman occupies a booth at the back wall. A pair of goons hidden in the shadow, but for the glow of their augmented eyes. You watch an obvious merc slash pirate approach. Uh, actually, before I do that. Officer available for hire. Officer available for hire. Ooh, let's have a look at you. Throw a short wait. Your connection. Uh, heard you might be looking to take on some help. Depends. What can you do? Uh, reckless impact mitigation. Mm, no, end that conversation. I'm not looking to take on someone who's reckless. How about you? What can you do? Another reckless, damn it. I don't want reckless. I would like more officers, but not reckless ones. I feel like that's just going to get people dead. I feel that that will very much get people dead. Especially in wolves that I've just bought. I, I'd rather wait. Right, let's take the shuttle down to the barn and see what we've got. As you approach, she inspects you with professional detachment. Subtle cybernetics flickering on the edge of IR. An operator, are you? Like getting your hands dirty? She doesn't smile. The expression is closest to a predator baring its teeth. I might be able to arrange a job which matches your talents, she says. Implants flickering in her eyes. For a more manageable target, uh, whatever you've got works for me. I can handle a more challenging target. I'm going to say whatever works uh, you've got works for me. Just look at this do-gooder. She pulls up a standard ID hollow of a military officer in uniform. Too upright and honest to know when it's time to compromise a bit to make things easier on everyone. Get paid, look the other way. Doesn't hurt anyone who doesn't deserve it, right? Pombati shakes her head at, stu uh, at stubborn law abiders. She's commanding a Persian League patrol fleet operating out of... Aethelf in the West and S star system, six light years away. You'll find her patrolling either near there or nearly nearby jump points or one of the orbital strategic assets like Com Relay and the like. She dismisses the ID with a uh, hollow with a contemptuous flick. Take her out. You get 67,000 credits. I'll give you 120 days to complete the job. Think you can handle that? Um we have any further info on that? I mean, it's in the direction I kind of want to go. Uh, nine days until departure. What is that one doing? It's going to be moving. Okay, that's not really anything I want. Ooh, that on the way back might be something I'd like. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take the job. Sure. They're not an ally, so... I don't feel uh, like I need to worry too much. She taps the data pad, an Intel assignment shows up on your tripod. Okay, that is stupidly easy. Okay. To be as contain the complete information about the scope of the assignment. Okay. Accept. Leave the bar. We're not even going to have to take most of our ships in for that. Dark Havoc time. Well, I mean, you know, the first drink that she have got me was an Irish coffee. So, I don't feel that I am to blame for this one. <laughs> I feel that I am, in fact, merely a victim of the cruel binds of fate. Uh, I would like to take a solid 375 off your hands. Thank you. Okay, time to roll those names, I think. Let's go ahead and bring up the fleet window. And let's jump in here. Who are we going to be naming first? The two wolves and then the Valkyrie transport. Uh, I should be able to... Hmm. I'll, I'll see if I can reorder the ships in a moment. But, Nightbot, who's winning? 
We have got the Omega Jinx. I'm going to cut the V from your name. I hope you don't mind. His Royal Majesty's ship, Omega Jinx. Next up, congrats, by the way, Talival. Get you named. I really wish this game wouldn't, like, wouldn't lose focus. I wish I could run, operate in, like, windowed borderless mode. Really do. HRMS. So it wouldn't, like, cut the music every time I uh, tab out to grab stuff like this. Talival. And finally, we have Jack Ariel. There we are, done and done. HRMS. Now, I'm not going to have the... I think I put that right. Is that right? I think so. Uh, there we are. If you cut the V, how will we know which Omega Jinx it is? Uh, that is true. Yeah, that uh, is fair. Welcome to the fleet, everyone. Long may you serve in it. Right, now I want to try and reorder these ships. There we are. Let's bring down anything that is a freighter down here. I would like the uh, big chunky ships up top. Uh, followed by you. Followed by these. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. You should go in there, I would say. This is the pattern that we're going to have. Just try and organize everything, shall we? Uh, the hounds, since I really can never, ever, ever afford those to come out into a f proper fight, because they've basically got no shields. I would like the hounds to kind of squeeze in here. Um, the Marja... It is a combat freighter, I mean, to be fair. Uh, this one is a standard freighter. Uh, the custom combat freighters, they should be ahead of the hounds. The mud skip. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why we've... <laughs> I'm not even sure why we've still got Unspeaker Blair. But, you know, you're here, Unspeaker Blair, so here you'll stay, I guess. But there we are. There we are. That's a little bit better organized, I feel. Uh, yeah, getting a couple more officers for my wolves would be fantastic, I think. I recently bought Star Sector. Is there, like, a quick tip or word of advice you could offer? Uh, okay. Reanimated bit. The best advice that I can offer you for how to play this is do not discount trading as a... Thorough means of of uh, supporting your fleet throughout the entire game. You don't need to be in fights all the time. I know that like a large part of the game is equipping your your ships for fighting. That will happen to you eventually, no matter what. But I would strongly recommend get a freighter, get a tanker, so you've got extra uh, cargo supply, uh, cargo room, extra room for your uh, fuel. And just run trades for a little bit. It'll get you around the systems. Pick up the odd mission or two here and there, but focus on trading early game to just get your hang, uh, get the hang of things. The next thing I would say: do not be afraid to spend an hour simulating your builds of ships. Just. Throw together little ships, throw them at uh, a couple of standard enemy designs, just see how they do. The market game is... I, I find the market game fine, myself. I mean, it could be a little bit more in-depth, but I don't think it needs to be. I think it's pretty good as it is. Right, okay. We are now going to leave. And I am promptly going to make my way over here. Let's go. So we're going to move out first. 
Get away from that bloody sun! That is drinking all of my supplies. <sighs> that thing was just painful. That thing was just gobbling down my supplies. It was so annoying. That solar flare right there, just as I was going through, was so annoying. Oh, that's another thing. Definitely do not, do not assume that that's just visual. That is straight up painful, is what that is. And you know what, let's uh, ping, find out what we've got. The stuff at, at, at suns and stuff like that, do not feel that those things are um, just visual. They are 1000% not. Another mud skipper. Okay, well, I'll, I'll salvage it. Didn't get any supplies, sadly, but that's okay. Alright, let's burn. Mercantile convoy. Uh, let's patrol. Don't really care for you. Had a little bit of something just there. And it still is. And I'm going transponder off for now. Be you. You be a mule. No, no, no. Come on. Come down. Overshot. Uh, uh, no, I'm not using this story point to get a mule. Even if it does have good shielded cargo. Yeah, lots of little dots moving around over here right now. Okay. Fleet goes into Orbra and Umbra. The local port authority seems to take little issue with your explanation of why your transponder regrettably can't be turned on. Right. Now then. First and indeed foremost want to shed these for crazy money there we go that's 118k and we've just we've just added a lot of ships to our fleet ah uh, you know what i was a dummy about i i did it on the open market i i still can't wrap my head around the fact that the pirates have an open market and then a black market i meant to sell her on the black market so i didn't give away 30 percent of it but oh well bloody pirate taxes You know it's the grim dark future when the pirates tax you. When you have to pay VAT all your transactions with pirates. <sighs> Truly, this is the darkest timeline. Now, you've got st still st Ooh, now then, you've got an excess of marines. I accept. Yes. Uh, don't get all of them. Just get a hundred, please. That was good. No civilization without taxes, even in pirate world. It does seem to be the case. Yes. Uh, but uh, Chad does raise a point. If you don't trade, like if you only trade on the black market, you don't really support the station. And eventually the station will die. And it's not actually what you want. Uh, they've actually got Volatiles up for sale, and Syndra has got a decent price on them. Hmm. Yeah. I'll buy uh, 400 of that price. Absolutely. And then we'll go and sell them at Syndra. I'll also buy as much crew as I can fit on there. And do the same. Okay. I'm buying them for six. Uh, it's it really is not a problem for me to make a stupid, stupid amount of money doing this. Now, they want a decent amount of fuel. I'm going to sell you 275. Uh, you know what? I'm going to sell that on the open market. I'm going to sell you 200 on the open market. Here you go. You get a little bit of tariff there. So, to smuggle properly, do you have to create distractions to get the patrols to piss off? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can absolutely distract them, then go dark when they're chasing off after the, after where your sensor last was, and then you kind of swoop around behind. 
But you need to build your your setup for that. Um, you want to be able to move quickly even whilst you're going dark. Is the general rule there. I would love to find a bunch of... Do you have a bunch of Vulcan cannons I could purchase? Uh, you've got two. I will buy those Vul Vulcan cannons. I will use them. Expanded magazines would be good. Increases the ammo capacity of the number of charges of ballistic and energy weapons. Oh, expanded missile racks. Increases the ammo capacity of missile weapons by 100%. I mean, this is just amazing on things. Heavy armor increases the ship's armor by 150 all the way up to 500 points, depending on the hull size. Also reduces its maneuverability by 10%, though, so it's kind of been on the bad side. But I will purchase that, confirm. And I'm going to learn that one. I've been meaning to pick that up for a while. Also, insulated engine assembly is pretty cool. Increases the durability of the ship's engines by 100%, and the ship's hull integrity by 10%, and the ship's sensor profile is also reduced by 50%. But you can make a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky fleet if you give every ship on your fleet insulated engine assemblies. I will purchase that. And yeah, you can... It's not just a sensor station. So let me... Uh, if we go into the map in this system, they've got the uh, comm relay there. You've got the sensor station over there. Now, hacking... If you take out the sensor station... You're going to straight up um, mess up their... Like, they're not going to be able to see you as well. So it's a double whammy. You're going to pull their fleets up there. And also, they're going to be so much... Uh, so much uh, worse off with that. The comm relay... Hacking the comm relay is a bit of a... Like, I don't think the comm relay will actually do it, but uh, I think some of the, like, a couple of the other orbitals you can mess with, and it'll pull their patrols to you. The comm relay might be a... I, I think the comm relay, when you hack that, it's too good. Like, the comm relay, they don't notice it's been hacked for a long time. Um, navigation buoy, though, I believe works in the same way as the sensor array does. Yeah, there are things you can do to distract the local patrols. Right, well, we're going straight back to Syndra. To get there, we're going to go over to the uh, Asconia Gate and then down to Syndra. Hopefully avoid that bloody star, which is messing us up. Uh, is there anyone over here? Freelance administrator, officer, available for hire. What do you like? Steady. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Energy weapon mastery. Good for a a wolf. Offer to hire. 2,000 credits hiring. 900 per month. Sounds good to me. There we go. On that note, let's have a look at some of the, uh, some of the wolves. This is probably the tactical laser heavy blaster. Sure, we'll pop you in here. Tonk. Yeah, Umbra has been a great place, frankly. I wouldn't mind making these. How many can you mentor? Can you mentor everyone? Or is it one person at a time? As many I have the story points for. Well, frankly, I kind of want them all to be aggressive. So, yes. And, indeed, yes. I don't want... I don't really need steady pilots. I'd like aggressive ones. Because I'm... I've actually got a problem with steady pilots. They just don't do anything. Okay. Well, that's looking much better Better now. we go starting to fill out our fleet. Another two officers on these wolves, another two on these, and then uh, our combat ships are good. Is there a limit to how many story points you can get? 
I actually don't think there is, but there might be. There's a limit to how many levels you can get, yes. There is a li limit to the levels. It does slow down dramatically later on, yeah. Conversation with the shifty man fiddling with the cyber mod jack. Talk to the woman who looks disappointed by the commodity traders. Um, handful of commodity... Uh, no. You know what? We're going to leave. I've got a bunch of stuff to do. Let's burn. We're just going to leave this system then and we're going to flip the transponder on because I'm not doing anything illegal. So I'm happy to let people know that I'm here. And... Transponder on. Head to the relay. Take a nice wide berth. And there we go. I've got one of the story points back. Actually, where am I with my level? I'm about halfway to the next level. That's good. Slow down. We're about to swim through this. Let's keep going. Don't want to be anywhere near that bloody star. Great convoy faction pirates from Umbra to Lost Atropolis. Okay, we're going to come in here direct from over... Oh, let me slow down a bit. There we go. Let's just try and get in there before we have a solar flare dealing issues to us. There we go. Perfect. Right. First and foremost. I can make the most money by trading this on the black market. But I'm already... I'm going to make... Oh, that's... Um... Let's not sell all of them then. Let's go up until we get to the first bump in price. Seven five. I'm gonna sell them on the black market. Thirty five K. That has, however, given us minimal suspicion. So at this point I want to sell a lot. Oh. Well, mind you, despite the fact that I can still... Like, they've got an excess. I've got a bigger excess, so... Nah, we're good. I would like to buy an awful lot of fuel. In fact, I'd like to fill the tanks. Uh, there's no suspicion now. I've done so much legitimate trade that they don't regard. They're like, well, oh, God, it's just probably just say sensor data and, and you know, just numbers implying things. I mean, someone who's trading this much and paying this much tax clearly isn't a bad person. Maybe they just talked to the wrong person. I'm sure it was just a mistake. We're just not going to bother with them because they're making us so much money right now. Uh, I could get it a bit cheaper, but I could also fill my stores with this and then sell to the Umbra Pirates. How much are the Umbra Pirates in need? Umbra Pirates need three... They, they've got... Uh, yeah, we can easily fill this. I can't actually get that much cash together for it, but shed as much as I need to. Uh, there's no point in selling the volatiles to get some more. Well, I mean, no, I... I I bought them for like 130 over at Umbra. I don't want to sell for that cheap. Still going to make a decent 
trade, even though I'm paying a fairly high price for this. Is there anything else I wanted to buy? I mean, 159, how much Umbra want to pay for that? They want to pay a decent amount, so I could just go ahead and purchase. No, not 28,000 worth. I don't have that. Okay, well, maybe I should sell that then. Okay, confirm. Medium suspicion, which is a problem, but let's just hope. Let's hope we can get away with this. I have now made enough trade on the black market that this is going to be an issue for me. So let's skedaddle without taking too long. Go. Go. Up we come. There we go. Who be that? Oh, it's probably, uh, probably legit. I want to be up there. Go. Now. Just burn away. Leave them behind. They're not chasing, so that's fine. Now I want to kind of head over there. Transponder's going off in just a moment. Uh, they are really happy with the amount of money I just spent. So I've gained experience for that. Not too bad, eh? Oh, what was that? Well, that's kind of worrisome that I just did that because they are going to be chasing me now. I need burn. Go. Oh dear, they're all burning to me. Ah, I shouldn't have pinged. All right. Um. Interaction and e burn. Go 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 go! Uh oh, <laughs> they've caught me, boss. Yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have pinged. I shouldn't have pinged with my transponder off. Running with the transponder off. Okay, allow the scan. Hopefully, they don't find anything. You wait for the cargo scan. No contraband. If I catch you running with the transponder off again, I won't get. You won't get off so easily. Okay, fine. They weren't happy with that, but it's fine. Main thing is we get to find out what this was. Ah, uh, it's just a kite class. That was not worth the reputation hit there, but okay. We don't need it. Salvage. But yeah, I, I realized that. Oh, something else up there as well. Okay. Let's do another ping. Is there much more out here? Don't know. Okay. But yeah, that, that, uh, the moment that happened, I was like, oh dear, I may have done a, may have done a silly, I pinged while my uh, transponder was off. Don't care for it. Can salvage. Nine supplies, not too bad. Good morning, Closets, thank you very much for the 17 months, mate. And Merlin Rakfiki, thank you so much for the 35s. Woohoo, not a lot of time, but still, hello, Avak, hello, everyone. Hello to you. And Rosenkai, sorry for missing your sub a little bit ago. Thank you ever so much for the 17 months. 22 months, rather, 17 minutes ago. Reading the wrong thing. Right, well, this is going down. Let's have a look at my accepted missions. 93 days to go and deal with you. 108 days to go and deal with you. Quite a lot of days to go and scan stuff out there. There's a lot of stuff I want to do. So much. We'll get to it, of course, but for now. I'd like to take missions out in these locations if I could. <sighs> Analyze domain era survey ship. Like, I would love to go and check these things out, yeah. The survey ship stuff, especially. you you be pirates no doubt oh pardon me have to sneeze eh? in 
continue to burn. With my transponder off, because we're going to go and say hello to the pirates. Alright, trade goods. First and foremost. Yeah, no. Not this time. Tonk. Tonk. Confirm. Next. I mean, I'm... I really don't need that much. 